hello there and welcome in this video i will show you how you can jump uh, any missing track when you are changing a charging port so you can see right here on this charging port the tracks are missing and i noticed that most of you guys don't really know how to jump at this track so in this video i'm not just going to show you how you can jump at this track i'm going to show you how you can trace any missing track on a mobile pcb so i'm going to show you on two different types of pcbs so that when you hold any pcb you will know what you are doing so if you look at these tracks right here you will see that they have peeled off which means that if you look carefully you will see that the the gnd the vbus the dm and the gp have peeled off of the pcb which means that you won't be able to solder there are no solder points right here and if you just plug in the charging port it will not work because there is no connection between charging port and the pcb so how can you jump uh, all these points right here i will start with the gnd the gnd is nothing to worry about because gnd is everywhere on the pcb so which means that you can even connect a cable right here to the gnd of the charging port and everything will be okay so once you see gnd on any side you can just connect to the gnd so the gnd is not a problem so we have the dm the gp and the vbus which are the most important and are not that easy to trap you understand even though they are quite easy in some pcbs like this pcb right here i'm going to show you how you can track it on this pcb then with the other pcb so if you look on this pcb right here you will see that we have a bigger track right here which leaves the charging port right here the charging port position right here right to the connector flex right here right to this connector flex so the easiest way for you to jump uh, this charging port on this pcb it's for you to look carefully and you will see that where the vibers peeled off the pcb is there any bigger track from the point that peeled off you will look carefully you will see that we have this bigger line right here and the reason why the line is too big is so big is because it deals with 5 volt and 5 volt cannot be passed through a very small line like the other lines that you see right here so if i take this other charging card right here you will see the difference of what i'm talking about so if you look these pins right here so let's take it for example that this charging port right here is not available and the pins are peeled off so if you look closely right here you will see that there are no tracks from these pins right here so how can you do track this type of tracks in case these pins are peeled off so if you look carefully even though there is no bigger track right here you will see that we always have the vibers on this side and if you look closely right here from the points that peeled off you are not able to see that because the pins are too small the little track right here is not that big <coughs> because the line is being integrated into the other layers of the pcb but you will always see that we have small dot right here which passes the 5 volt to the other side of the pcb i'm going to explain that more more clearly so if i turn to this other side right here you will see that we have where to jump at it from my explanations on this other board right here you will see that it's quite easy to jump at the 5 volt on this pcb as well because we have our bigger track right here so apart from the 5 volt on this charging card there is no other component on other function right here that deals with the high amount of voltage so the bigger line is always that of the 5 volt the bigger track is always that of the 5 volt so if i turn it this way you will see that the 5 volt leaves this charging port even though there is no bigger track right here the 5 volt line is being integrated then it passes through the pcb through the other layers of the pcb then comes to this side and passes through this diode right here and the diode is being connected in series so if this line is being peeled off right here and you want a jumper either you can scrape it right here then jumper or just solder right here jumper scrape it right here jumper so these are the places in which you can jumper to have your 5 volt getting into the pcb and where the 5 volt is connected in this connector right here if you look carefully you will see that we have our track bigger track right here which connect to this bigger pin of the connector right here you understand so any line that is being printed in the first layer of the pcb you will always have see the line physically right here so you can see these other small lines right here in which you can troubleshoot other faults 
so if you see right here you will see that this bigger line has small dot anywhere that the bigger line ends it has some small dot which means that the line is being integrated into the other layers of the pcb which means that it's been integrated and it's come out right here it comes out to this other section so that is how you can jump uh, the v -bus. so what about the gm and the gp because those are the most complicated pins to troubleshoot in case you want to learn everything about mobile repairing in just a short time just send me a message using the number on the screen i i have a mobile repairing course which is complete i start from the basics of mobile repairing to the advanced level of mobile repairing and you are going to learn all of that in just two months so once you message me i will give you more information about the course so that you will see if you can start you understand so you can take the course in such a way that yeah you i can just send you the files depending on how much you have to pay so if you don't have the, the amount to get the course in the class format I can still send you the files the video files and the PDF files of the course and that will be quite cheap but I prefer if you don't know much about this already then you just have to take the full course in a class format we want to jump at the GP and the GM which is the data positive and the data negative of this little PCB right here since there are no lines right here if you look carefully you will see that there are no lines right here but there are some small joints right here that i can still use but what if that there are no lines right here if i turn to this other side you will see that we have two little dials okay so you will see that we have two little dials right here then we have these little tracks right here with holes that i told you that when you see this hole it means that these lines are being integrated so this this uh, dials right here are being connected in parallel which means that the gm might be connected to this side and the gp might be connected to this side so i don't know which one is dm and gp right here you understand so if i take on this other pcb right here you will see how you can follow these lines as well so if you look carefully right here you will see that we have the little dot of the gm and the gp right here which means that the line is going right into the pcb it's being integrated into the pcb so if the, li the line peels off right here then you still have this dot right here that means that you can still scrape this dot then jump out a little cable right here that will need at least a micro soldering because the lines are too small but if you don't want to jump out it right there then i'm going to show you something right here which is very important so like i said we have the little dots right here which means that the lines are being integrated like i explained before right here if you look right here you will see that we have two small lines right here and these small lines are that of the GP, GM and the GP. So if you don't see any place to jump at it right here, like these little points right here, you can still scrape these small lines right here. Then jump at your two cables to the GM and the GP. And I will show you how the connection of the GM and the GP is right here. So these two lines passes through these two diodes right here. Okay, it passes through these two diodes right here and these diodes both of the diodes are connected in parallel like in that other pcb so the line this line on this other side right here passes through this diode only on one side of the diode and the other side of the diode is connected to gnd you understand to the ground so this first line right here passes through this diode and through this little resistor right here and then you have the integrated connection right here which comes directly to this pin right here you understand so the other side does the same thing it passes through this diode right here to one side of the diode then one side of this black resistor right here to this integrated point right here so you can still easily find out where the lines are being connected right here that is how you can easily track and jumper charging missing charging lines on any mobile pcb